guys, welcome back to another Nine Inspired Crochet video. Today we are making this freaking adorable crochet cat bed in the puff quilt style. Shall we? Okay, so you can start with a magic circle or you can slip knot. Chain two, and then for round one, we're gonna work into the second chain from the hook here, and we're just gonna half double crochet 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, and we're working in continuous rounds, so no joining or anything. Just jump right into round two. Two half double crochet stitches in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, for round three, we're going to be working into the back loops only. We're going to half double crochet into the first stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to work our first corner. Two double crochet stitches, chain two, and two more double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next two stitches, double crochet into the next stitch, and then work the second corner. Two double crochet stitches, chain two, and two more double crochet stitches in the corner, double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch and corner three, two double crochet stitches, chain two and two more double crochet stitches. Double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, last corner, two double crochet stitches, chain two, two double crochet stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and now working through both loops, single crochet in the next stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, and fasten off. You should have a nice little square with a little swirl of front loops available. You can start with a magic circle or chain two again. And the first two rounds are going to be the same as our last piece that we made. So 10 half double crochet stitches in the circle or in the second chain from the hook and then two stitches in each of those. So at the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches, and then I'll meet you there. Okay, I've reached the end of round two, and I have 20 total stitches. For rounds three and four, you're just gonna half double crochet in each stitch around. So 20 around for round three, and then 20 around for round four, and I will meet you back here when you're done. When you finish with your four rounds, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. 
We're going to fasten off. This time we're going to leave a longer tail for sewing. I've got a little hole in the top of my circle here. So I'm going to use my starting tail to close that up really quick. And then I'm going to show you how to assemble this bubble top to the bottom that we just made. Okay, so I've got my embroidery needle here. I'm just going to thread that. And then we're just going to work through the front loops that we left available on round three of our bottom here, as well as the last row, round four here, of our top. So I'm going to go through that, and I'm just whip stitching. So I'm always coming from the same side. I'm going into the next stitch on the bubble, the next stitch on the puff, pulling it tight. And I'm just going to do that until I'm most of the way around. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. Now you could do this without the extra loops here, but this makes it look nicer on the back. I don't have any black yarn peeking through. And it makes it really easy to match up. You know, it's the same number of stitches on the top and on the bottom going to give a more uniform look to all of the different bubble puffs that we're going to be making here. Okay, and most of the way around here, I just have this one little hole left. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff the bubble now. And you want it to be stuffed pretty firmly, but you obviously don't want any uh, stuffing peeking through the holes. And if you start over stuffing it, then you'll notice that your holes are going to increase in size. The gaps are going to be no more noticeable. So you want to stop before you get to that point. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Then I can just sew it up the rest of the way here. And for your last couple stitches here, you're not going to have front loops to work from. Just grab any available loop from the top. Just go through the one layer there, not all the way down and through. Okay, and then you can go ahead and weave in your ends and fasten off. So for the flat tops, you're going to work them the same way that we did for the bottoms, except on round three, we're going to work through both loops. So we're not going to have that spiral on the top, but it's still the same 10 half double crochet stitches, increase around so you get 20. And then the last round is the same, just working through both loops. And then in order to um, assemble a flat top with the bottom, we're just going to hold the pieces together uh, with the right sides facing out. So you, you've got, you know, one side of the square that you've been looking at the whole time. That's the right side. Then the back side just looks kind of wonky. That's the wrong side. So those are going to be facing inwards. And we're going to have two snuggled up next to each other just like this. And then working through 
both layers. So grab two loops on the square closest to you and two loops on the square behind you, like so. We're just gonna slip stitch these two together, working all the way around. When you get three quarters of the way around, pause and we'll stuff it. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, so I've made it most of the way around here. I've just got this little opening left. That's where I'm gonna shove all my stuffing through. And I'm gonna hide those tails in there too while I'm at it. Because I don't wanna weave in all those up. Okay, something like that, and then we'll just slip stitch it the rest of the way closed. Got to kind of fight the stuffing as you go. Okay, and then we can fasten off and weave in ends, and that's that. Okay, so I'm starting at the bottom right here, and what we're going to do to start connecting these is to make it so that the tops go together here. So this is the top of this one, this is the top of this one. I'm just going to fold this down so that the tops are touching, and then I'm going to work across the top here I'm going to work through both layers I'm going to do the front loop of this puff closest to me and the back loop of this puff farther away from me and I'm going to slip stitch through those two loops all the way across when you finish with the first two you don't have to fasten off you can just grab your next two get them ready to go and then continue slip stitching all the way across and you're just going to keep doing that until your first row is complete. Okay so here I've put the first two rows together and then I'm just going to start on this next row here. So I'll fold these two down so that the tops touch, go across that and then go to that one and all the way across until the end. When you get to this point and you're ready to start attaching some whites, the very first thing you'll do is attach this spare white one to the first puffy white one and then you'll move on here and here and here like so so don't attach this flat one to this flat one at all at this time okay so it's the last horizontal row here these are just gonna hang out for a sec because there's nothing above here I'm just gonna fold these down and go all the way across and then we will switch to doing the verticals. Okay, okay. Okay, so all the horizontal rows are done now. First thing I'm going to do now is to connect our lonely little friend here. So I'm just gonna fold this up. It's gonna sew on these sides together and then it'll sew on the edge here to the puff below it. And then these two sides all together. And I'm just gonna do that all the way all in one go with you know one continuous strand of yarn just working around that U and then I will fasten that off and repeat it on the other side. Okay as you can see these sides are done now so now I'm just going to go in with the white yarn and sew like this just these two squares all vertically together and then I will meet you back here. Okay top part's done so now we're going to fold up the side here we're going to start at the top and so these two together, the white and the purple, and then we'll go down this line all the way to the corner here, and then we'll sew these two together at the bottom edge. Okay, so as you can see, I did the same thing on the other side here, and then these are super straightforward, just um, crocheting together or sewing vertically. Now I will show you how to work 
the walls. Okay, so I'm on the left side of the cat bed, right where the white turns into the purple here. And I'm going to attach my purple yarn. I'm going to chain one, and we're not going to count that as a stitch. I'm going to half double crochet in the first stitch. Like that. And in each stitch. All the way around until we get to the other side where the purple turns back into the white. And I'll meet you there to show you how to do the color change. All right, when you make it all the way around to the other side, you are going to change to white. So I'll start my last purple stitch here, and I am working in those spaces between squares. So I'm going to pull up that loop, like I'm going to do a half double crochet stitch, and then I'm going to drop my purple yarn and pick up my white yarn and use that to finish my half double crochet stitch. Okay, and then I'm ready to move on to the white section here. So I'm going to keep going with the white all the way back to where I started. And the purple, I'm just going to let that hang behind. You don't need to fasten it off or anything. When you get back to where you started the round, you're just going to slip stitch into your first half double crochet stitch. And then you're going to turn your work. So now we're looking at the bottom of the cap bed and to start round two we're just going to chain one and then we're going to start coming this way half double crocheting with our white when we get to the purple we'll change colors pick up that yarn we left hanging there and then we'll come all the way back around here to where we started so in total you're going to do seven rows of half double crochet for these walls and then i will show you how to finish them up and stuff them Okay, so I've actually ended up doing 10 rows, but I've just finished the last row, the 10th row there. So I'm going to chain one, and then we're going to start connecting the top of our wall to the base of the bed. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip the corner over, and you're going to find that first ridge from where we joined squares together. And we're going to attach it to there. So I'll go through one of the stitches on the 10th row and then I'll grab a stitch from over here okay and then I'm just gonna slip stitch this would be easier if I had woven in all my ends like I was supposed to but I didn't okay just like that I'll show you one more time so just working through both layers here and it's a little tricky to work into the slip stitches. So if you want to go down a hook size, that can be helpful. But you're just going to follow that line all the way around the edge of the bed. And as you make your way around every few stitches, just go ahead and add a little stuffing. You're not going to be able to do it at the end. So you're just going to need to stuff as you go. You're going to go all the way around. And that's going to create that nice puffed up bolster all the way around the edge of the bed. To make this straw, we're going to start with a slip knot, and then we're going to chain 40. Then I'm going to go back and find the first chain that I did, and I'm just going to half double crochet into it. Okay, and then you're just going to continue to have double crochet in each stitch around. And you can see when you make it all the way around that you'll be able to just keep going to start round two without any slip stitches or anything like that. So keep going until you have 16 rows total. When you have 16 rows, fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. And then I'm just going to fold this into itself. 
and line up the bottom edges here. Okay, so it's like that. So this will be the top of our straw, and then I'm going to use the long tail that I left to sew this side onto the top of the cat bed. Okay, I'm just using a simple whip stitch to put this on. So always working from the same direction through the two layers of fabric, and then I grab a stitch on the bed and pull it through, and then back working in the same direction through two layers, and then through one. For this front side, I'm attaching it just on the edge of that square there, and then when I get around to the back, I'm just going to come back about four rows and go through this, this row here. Thank you. 